Uh, before we go on the double integral in polar coordinates, we review the definition of polar coordinates. What is polar coordinates? It's, uh, it's a different coordinate uh, with the rectangular polar coordinates. The polar coordinate and this is first we choose our region and uh, the start ray we call this axis as OX axis. Uh, then any point in the plane we give it the coordinates R theta. <coughs> what is R theta? Maybe in the rectangular, uh, the, in the rectangular coordinates is x or y, and we use a new coordinates r theta. And what is r theta? R is the length from the origin to this point. The length is a, is a, uh, the length is the r from the the length from the O to we call this point P. The length of OP is R. And uh, the theta is the uh, angle between OP and uh, OX. That's the theta. Theta is uh, O the angle between OP and uh, OX. That's the polar coordinates. And uh, by the definition, we know the relation between and the uh, rectangular coordinates and the polar coordinates. The x should equal r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. That's the uh, rectangular coordinates to the polar coordinates. And reversely, r equals square root x square plus y square. And the theta equals the inverse ten y over x. Uh, if it's in one at the first and the second quadrant. And uh, equals the inverse ten on y over x plus pi. If it's in the third and uh, our fourth quadrants. That's the uh, relation between rectangular coordinates and uh, polar coordinates. <coughs> so use use this re relation. We can find the uh, f find the polar coordinates uh, provided the rectangular coordinates. For example, the point one one in rectangular is the polar coordinate as square root two and the pi over four. That's polar coordinates. And uh, negative one, one that is corresponding to uh, square root two and uh, three pi over four. And if we find if there's, <coughs> uh, for example, the, if the polar coordinates is one and, uh, uh, for example, pi over two. That's correspond to uh, zero one. 
the, the length is 1. The angle is pi over 2. So this, this point to the rectangular coordinates that is 0, 1. That's the relation between polar coordinates and uh, rectangular coordinates. And in double uh, in double integration, uh, double integration, we always need to find the upper limit and the lower limit uh, for rect uh, for polar coordinates. And we can uh, we need to uh, represent a curve in polar coordinates. For example, we have the example one. Uh, find the equation. Polar equation. Polar equation. Mm. For the curve x square plus x square plus y square equals one. We use the relation of uh, rectangular and uh, polar coordinates because x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. First, we know that this is uh, the curve is a circle. First, we draw a circle. So x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, insert to the equation x square plus y square equals 1, that r square uh, cos, cosine theta square plus r square sine theta square equals 1, that is r square equals 1, and uh, that is r equals 1. And uh, we need to find the theta, the domain for theta, for the for the from the graph. The theta, the the lower uh, the lower limit for theta is zero because uh, at this point, this cor point corresponding to theta equals zero. And uh, after we change this way, is and uh, to the to the same point. This uh, this point is correspond to theta equals two pi. So that theta is from zero to two pi. Uh, in uh, if we want to evaluate the double integral in polar coordinates, we always need to find the equation of the curve. Uh, second, uh, the, the second uh, example is find the polar coordinates, a uh, polar equation for the curve x square plus y square equals 2x. We need to draw the graph first. What is this curve? This curve x square plus y square equals 2x. Uh, that is x square minus 2x plus y square equals 0. We use completed square for the fir first two terms. That is x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square, then minus 1. There is plus 1. We uh, have to minus the 1 to, can to, to cancel, the, uh, cancel this part. That means x minus 1 square plus y square equals zero uh, equals one. So we draw the graph. The graph is like this. The center is one zero. 
this curve is different with uh, with the previous one because the previous one we have theta from zero to two pi because it's uh, the the origin is enclosed by the curve but this by this uh, example the origin is not uh, in inside the curve so it, we after we draw the graph we want to find the equation for for this curve first we uh, can find the uh, the interval for theta the theta the lower the uh, the smallest theta is is this way so that is theta that means theta is uh, in this case we we use we use this this is the smallest this is the biggest largest theta so we use theta from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 uh, we not we 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 don't use the from 0 to 2 pi that this point we at this at this direction we don't use the angle that is 3 pi over 2 because if we use 3 pi over 2 uh, this the domain for theta should 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 divide in two uh, in in two intervals we use negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 uh, is uh, it's just a one continuous uh, continuous interval and uh, how to find the equation for r we uh, use the origin the origin equation for for the curve and uh, then use uh, x equals r cosine theta y equals r sine theta then the origin the original equation chain, uh, becomes that is r square equals 2r cosine theta because r is the uh, bigger than bigger than zero we cancelled one r both sides so that is r equals 2 cosine theta so so the equation so the equation is r equals 2 cosine theta and theta between uh, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 that's the second and uh, the second uh, example sometimes we find we need to find some uh, find the polar polar equation of the curve of the line x equals 2 uh, x equals 2 y between uh, y between negative 2 to 2 and what what is the graph of this curve this curve is x equals 2 y from negative 2 to 2 uh, 2 negative 2 and 2 2 how to find the polar equation for this line we use the equation that's x equals r cosine theta y equals r sine theta so x equals 2 means r cosine theta equals 2 so r equals 2 over cosine theta and what is the domain for theta the domain for theta the, the least or the smallest theta is here and the biggest theta is here 
the smallest that, that is a y uh, that is x equals two y equals negative two uh, that is y over x is negative one so the theta should equals ne from negative pi over four to pi over four this point is y equals x this point is y equals negative x so that is theta is from negative pi over 4 to pi over 4. So the equation is r equals 2 over cosine theta. And the theta, the domain for theta is negative pi over 4 uh, to pi over 4. We, we can, can, cannot use these equations inserted in here. We cannot use this one. We, we have to draw the graph, and from the graph, we can find the domain of theta. OK, that's the polar co coordinates. And how to find the polar equation for the curve in terms of rectangular coordinates.